I'm going to show you how to assemble this lamp. So just so you know, there are really no instructions. It's one page sheet that doesn't really tell you how to do it. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. If you do buy this lamp, make sure you refer back to this video once you get it so you can see actually how to put it together. So everything that comes in the box is laid out here. You have this weight, you have the base, you have some hardware, a little tool, a foam pad, the um, like cones that go on the top and LED lights. So let's go through and show you how we actually assemble all of this. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bottom of this, you're gonna screw this metal piece in like this, and it go all the way till it's tight. And once it's tight, just like that, you're done with that part. So now take the base of this, you're gonna flip it over. Let's just take a look at this, yeah. So this piece goes on top, and you're gonna put the weight in here, just like that. And then you're gonna put the hole and the threaded piece just through there. Gotta kinda line it up till it's in the right spot. Move it around. It's a little harder to show you on camera, but let me just put it in the right position, just like that. And if it's not sticking out enough, like this isn't, you just get unscrew it a little bit to get a little bit more threading on it. Just like that. So now there's enough threading on it. And what I'm gonna do is just kinda rotate it around. So now I can add the washer and the nut on. Actually, let me go a little bit more threads on this just so I can tighten it down easier. Easiest way is just pop that off. You're gonna loosen this a little bit more. Pop the weight back on, just like that. There we go. So now I'm gonna put the washer on. Then I'm gonna put the nut on it. And then I'm gonna tighten it down. Actually, before I do that, let me adjust the inside piece here. So as you can see, you have some adjustability. So let me add the nut back on. Just trying to get in the right position so we have enough threads. So one thing I wish is that this was a longer threaded piece because it doesn't really need to be this short. I don't know why it's this short, but could have given us a little bit longer one, but that's all right. So let's get back it out to the point we need. I'm gonna take the tool, I'm just gonna tighten it down a little bit. gonna have to work around the wires in here. And then you're gonna grab the base again. So it just takes a little bit of playing with to get adjusted properly. And you don't want sticking out too far past the bottom. That's why you have to keep adjusting it or it's gonna scratch up the floor. So we can see it's tucked in enough. So now we're gonna tighten that down. And we're gonna use the wrench, and tighten it all the way. Just like that. On the bottom, just get go till it's tight, just like that. Keep going. All right now, it's, now it's nice and tight. So then this piece goes on here. So we're gonna peel this back. This is just like a foam piece, so it protects the floor. I'm just gonna peel it like that. That off of it. Let's start on one side. And it just kind of sticks on like that. So you can see. Perfect. And then we're gonna pop it up. We're gonna add the cones on the light. So each one of these has a plastic cap that unscrews. So what I would do personally to make your life easier. I put your bulbs in first and just pull them out of here. They just look like this, they screw in. Because the bulbs are straight, you could do them first. If they were curved, you would have to put the caps on, then the bulbs. But stick this on, stick the cap on in here and then 
Just gonna stick your hand in, and screw them down. It helps if you have someone with smaller hands than mine to do this, but that's basically it. And then you're gonna do the rest and then you're all set to go.